today we are going to learn about the concept FHIR cardinality which is a very easy concept if you are uh, already know HL7 you already know it it's 100% uh, similar to what it is in HL7 so the people who don't know about uh, cardinality we can go to uh, any particular resource if you are in the FHIR HL7.org click on uh, resource types reach out to any resource any resource over here I am going to patient just zoom in if it is not go to the structure so all the structures of fire have the cardinality defined over here. We generally we tend to miss it, but uh, CIRD is nothing but cardinality. So cardinality for any particular variable on the left side, you can see it's not about the length of the variable. It's about how many times it is going to repeat or it should repeat or it must repeat. So for example, for the patient identifier, the cardinality is zero and star means zero means it can repeat zero times means it cannot repeat or it can be n number of times you can take this both values as zero and star is nothing but zero is for zero star is for n so what i'll show if it is zero to star first we will discuss zero is nothing but uh, zero times it's going to repeat one is nothing but one time okay which is uh, very simple in words yeah star is nothing but n times n times can be any number of times okay for this particular patient identify it says zero to star means for the zero to star it can not repeat at all it doesn't exist at all okay it can be an empty value all or it can repeat n number of times you got it right n number of times so that's uh, common like then why uh, they are giving the cardinality as 0 or 1 maybe it is not required it's not mandatory you can consider it as optional if it is 0 to star and if we go to the name over here you can see again it is 0 to star if you go to any particular thing at the bottom the language is one to one means it should repeat it is a must so the cardinality is not limited to the complex or primitive uh, types over here even if you click any of the complex type if I click on the name on the human name over here it will take me to the human name it's actually buffering perfect it's working perfect you can see even under the human name there are like multiple primitive data types Till here you can see, even see the cardinality again this is a complex data type uh, in the previous video I explained if you click on it it will take you to another one so the cardinality is important for each and every field uh, if we talk in a HL7 uh, manner if you take this example it can be from 0 to n it is a 0 to 1 it's limited to 1 I want to explain you something I'll just zoom over here the name uh, the telecom and the gender if you focus over here it says 0 to 1 why it is 1 and why it is not star so if a particular patient is admitted will he has like multiple genders no means at least he can keep it once or he can ignore it so it's on the patient interest whether he doesn't want to uh, tell reveal the gender means it's 0 so the value can be empty if he is revealing the gender there will be one value so any one of this values over here that's how a cardinality works whether it's mandatory or not mandatory same again uh, if for a particular patient date will there be a two birth dates no so it is limited to only one at least zero or one so similarly for each and everything if you have address yes we have multiple address uh, we will be staying in multiple address moving to multiple address that's the reason uh, they kept it as star so that's the purpose of cardinality and it, it has not been designed randomly uh, it has been designed depending upon the healthcare data we are transferring so there are a lot of clinical data and a lot of clinical uh, technologies from medicines to different different uh, things they, the cardinality has on, already been set imagine by mistake someone enters uh, for example if it is star by mistake someone enters uh, two birth dates which will the system will decide it's a problem right similarly with the gender if he enters two uh, details like male and female together how can the system analyze 
so that's the reason it has been uh, only zero or one so similarly for all the details for example the contact information of course you might have multiple contacts the parent gender uh, the guardian and uh, everyone so everything has been uh, decided so that's how uh, the cardinality is important you can go ahead and check uh, multiple other uh, like resources for example i'll go to one of the random resource type because we were checking patient uh, multiple times so i will go something like nutrition product okay you can see a lot of other things over here for the nutrition item as i said a lot of uh, medical related clinical related uh, fields you can see a lot of things over here the item the characteristics everything uh, the cardinality has been already designed so yeah that's how cardinality works and i think uh, i want to make it as short as possible on a simple terms you can uh, consider this it would be uh, very easy to understand how many times it is going to come or not thank you